Hey everybody, Eric here. And today I wanna to share with you a really cool process for merging your digital world, like you see here behind me in my SketchUp model, into the physical world using the AR capabilities built into 3D Warehouse. So when I say merging physical and virtual, we kind of already are, I hope, familiar with augmented reality or AR. Now, so in order to do that, you do need, I will say, a device. Like here, I've got an iPad Pro. So you're gonna need something that you can basically use as the lens. We're going to take this model that you see behind me and we're gonna place it into context in the real world. Now, there's a few things to think about when you do that. It's not it can be as simple as click a button and view, but depending on the model and the immersiveness, the level of immersiveness you want, you're going for, uh, there's a couple things to think about. So that's what we're gonna cover right now. Let's get to it. I've got here my model. This is a bike storage room. Um, this is just kind of a concept for where I would like this to go. It's in a co-working space. Again, it's just a proposal for figuring out how to maybe better utilize this empty space. And I thought, you know, this is a perfect excuse for me to just model something really quick and we'll actually go into the space together and we'll view it and see what that looks like. So that's it, the model's pretty simple. You'll see though what I did intentionally is that I created a ceiling and I created a floor and I created walls. So I didn't wanna just visualize the bike racks. I actually wanted to visualize it more enclosed. And I did that on purpose because you'll see here in just a second when we get in, when we place it into the space, um, what we wanna do is sort of get as immersive, we wanna be able to put ourselves into this room and therefore we wanted to enclose, I wanted to enclose three sides of this. So you can see three sides are enclosed. Now, in order to get it into AR, first step, step is we need to switch gears, is you need to upload your model to 3D Warehouse. Here you can see once you've done that, you've got a button that says view in AR. You click that and a QR code, which you could either scan directly or you can embed. So there's different ways you can share this. You can copy it or whatever. But in this case, what I'm going to do is just switch over to my iPad here. And then I'm going to scan the QR code so that it will load the model up onto my iPad. And it's gonna take a second just to download. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and move from my computer into the space so I can place my model in the actual physical space that I wanna visualize it in. So it might take a second to load if it's a big model. This one's fairly small, so it shouldn't take too long. It's gonna ask me to place it and there it is. So now it's not exactly where I want it, but that's okay, I can position it. I'm using my fingers here on the iPad to just kind of push it. You can't see my fingers, but that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of just moving and I'm rotating it. I'm kind of pushing and pulling it around the space until I can get it sort of where I want. Now let's test it. I'm gonna go in right now. I'm just gonna walk into the bike room now. I feel like I've just left the co-working warehouse and I'm in my, well, okay, well, if I turn now, this is a three-sided model, so it only has three walls. So I left that open on purpose so that I can get in and out. Um, obviously you could do something like a door if you wanted to. But in this case, I wanted to sort of put myself in there and be as immersive as I can because I want to really kind of think about what it looks like. And that wasn't really where I wanted it. I'm going to push it. You can see what's happening here. If I push it too far, it's interacting with the actual real world wall. So now that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing depending on whether or not you want to actually see the existing wall or not. Now I don't. So what I wanna do is make sure when I position it, I position it just inside of the actual wall. Even if the in the reality, it's gonna be using that shared wall. In this case, I'm giving the SketchUp model an actual wall, a thickness. And then that way I won't get that sort of fighting. So here I am now again, looking in and looking out. So that's pretty much the process. You can see that um, depending on what your needs are, there's gonna be a little bit of forethought about the level of immersiveness that you're going for. So again, I just kind of wanted to do a preview of how you can, or maybe you don't want to show the existing space in your design, depending on what your communication goals or your immersiveness, level of immersiveness goals are. So hopefully, as always, you've learned something new in this video. Let us know in the comments what you think, um, or 
let us know if you've used AR. Have you done this process? Have you done it through 3D Warehouse? Um, have you ever tried to put yourself completely in a model so you can look all the way around 360 or just do it, do you do it with like placing furniture and objects? Uh, let me know. I'd love to uh, keep the conversation going there. While you're at it, give us a like and a subscribe and I will say thank you and see you next time.